Hi, Dr. Goldberg here, just to give you a uh, quick update on staph uh, from a microbiological standpoint. Staph is a gram positive cocci in clusters. Uh, we divide it into staph aureus, basically, and staph epidermis. Staph aureus is probably the most common virulent infection that we see. Most staph aureus is uh, still MSSA, methicillin sensitive staph aureus, though we obviously are seeing our share of MRSA infections more and more. The key for the sensitivity is to look at the oxicillin sensitivity. If it's sensitive to oxicillin, then we know it's MSSA. If it's MSSA, it's sensitive to cephalosporins as well as, sem as, well as semi synthetic penicillins. If it's MRSA, uh, then it's obviously going to be resistant to cephalosporins and, and semi-synthetic penicillins, and you'll need to pick another drug for it. We'll talk about MRSA at another time. Staph epidermidis, which is coag negative staphylococci, there's more than 200 strains. Most of these organisms are associated with prosthetic device infections, heart valves, CNS shunts, breast implants, knee replacements, vascular grafts. These are organisms that are have a very low virulence, but they can be very resistant if they can if they contain the MECA gene. So they can look like MRSA on sensitivity. Uh, they're hard to treat and basically uh, difficult to eradicate without removing the prosthetic material if it's a contiguous infection. Remember that pseudobacteremia also often will occur with staph epi infections. For one out of two positive blood cultures are positive, and it's a staph epidermidis, then we should think about uh, a pseudobacteremia, that is just a contaminant. Thanks, have a good day. Bye-bye.